In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that will allow you to have no plot text notes in your Revit projects. Now you can use this as an internal user note for your team without having to worry about the notes being printed. Now keep in mind it's a workaround, but I'm still hoping that it'll help some of you. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our BIM productivity videos. Let's get to work. Now these user notes are based on the principle that you can easily create a view like a callout and make sure that it's not printing. Now for that, I'd like to reuse the functionality of this family. So to find out what the actual component is, we're going to look at the type and the nested component is metric callout. And that's the one that we'll need to search in our project browser. And we can go ahead and edit the family. Now the first thing you want to do here is to save as to make sure that we don't overwrite the original family. So let's call it user note. And now the next thing is to create a new annotation family. So new family within the annotations folder. We'll use the generic annotation family template. We're going to delete that. We can create a label. Let's go ahead and create a new text parameter that needs to be an instance. Let's go ahead and assign text. And now let's add that parameter in our label. Now what I do recommend is to align the text to the left and maybe center it. Now, just so we don't have that generic family name, let's give this some a name that's more descriptive annotation. So we remember the difference between the two. And now let's go ahead and load it to the family. And now let's go ahead and place the text. Let's call it user note. Now, of course, we don't need this extra text and line work. The next thing we want to do is to associate a text parameter to that piece of text. So let's call this user note and that's going to be our parameter. It's already text, but this time we want the parameter to be type. Now at this point, let's go ahead and create some types. We can call this user note one. And let's write this one and one. So they're associated. And now let's create user note two and let's write two in here and then one more this is three and this is also three now what i'd like to do is set this as our default type and we're done with the creation of the family now we can load it to the project i would of course save this family and now just so we don't overwrite this annotation what we can do is duplicate this one and for example call it user note one and we can uh, create the three so they're ready now let's start from user one now it takes a few minutes to set it up the first time but then it's very easy to implement after that now user one will have to associate uh, all the nested levels of this family so call out head we need to keep that so let's go ahead and call this user note one user note two i'm just creating for now without associating so now going back to user note one we want to make sure that that one is associated to that so when i back out i have user note one and user note one now let's see what happens with the user note two see it's not associated yet so let's go ahead and associate that with user note two and the same thing here. And now you see that all these are associated correctly. Let's do the same thing for user note three. We already duplicated it. So it's here. All we have to do is select user note three from the drop down. Now let's take a look at what they look like. Now that's user note three because it's the latest that we've uh, selected, but if you create similar, 
you can create another view and you have control over the type. So that's user note one. And then you can create another one that's user note two. And we already have user note three. Now, how do you control what text goes here? Well, it's really easy because you can uh, go to the corresponding family and it'll be under annotation symbols and that's it user note now if you double click because that was a type parameter you can now write whatever you want your users to see so let's go ahead and change the text slightly so you see so now we have this as our custom text now let's take a look at how these work when you're about to print so if you control P for print if you preview it right now they show and that's because if you go into the setting setup we didn't check this so we're not hiding a reference view tags so, so this is something that normally I would uh, keep checked all the time just because you don't want to see unreferenced view tags and that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna hide that and once we hit preview those notes aren't showing which is what we want so of course you may want to customize the location of this text in relation to the geometry so what you can do is edit the original family user note and uh, move it where it makes sense to you now let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one do you want to be in one of my videos yeah <laughs> yes See, you're in focus. <laughs>